Okay, guys, here we are in the top eight of the Vintage Championships, and we are playing against Don Juan. And it's nice we've won the die roll. Now, Don was on Bug Fish uh, to qualify for this event, and um, it's possible that's where he is here. Now, we have um, five mana. And I don't know that we want to play the Mana Crypto right now. We're going to keep this hand. It's not great. And it's not terrible either. Where maybe we want to play the Mana Crypt is if we get Wastelanded, which is possible. But it puts us on a, a dangerous clock. So I think I'm just going to hedge my bets here a little bit. The difference is, is that um, you know if we draw a land next turn, we can perhaps cast our Steel Hell Kite. So I think I'm going to do that. Oh, my opponent's mulligan to four. Jeez. Okay. Um, well, it's not perfect, guys, but it's it's a hand. And really what we're trying to do is avoid getting loose landed here. Okay. So my opponent is not on bug. So if we can win a roll here. That is unfortuitous. But what a draw. Um, I think we try staffing in here, right? Or do we just go for Hellkite? Yeah, maybe we just try and jam a Hellkite here. Um, I mean, I think the likelihood of him actually having a force is not that great. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully my opponent has no land here. And, I mean, if he taps out for something. Okay. Nice to win a flip there. Uh, Forge Master is a great draw here. Um, so let's plow in. Now, what are we going to cast here? I think we're just going to do a Forge Master. Now, he can cast one casting spell. The reason I'm trying to think this out pre combat is do I want to pump? Six. So if we're going to cast the staff, we can't pump. Um. Eight. One mana short of being able to cast the Forge Master and the Tangle Wire because the Tangle Wire is underneath my own sphere. I kind of feel like getting a Forge Master out is just such a powerful play. Regardless, I am just going to plot in here. And uh, I don't think I'm going to pump. It doesn't change the clock that much. Um, okay, so Forge Master or Staff and Min? Let's do the Staff. The difference is, is that if he has something like a Spell Pierce, it's far better. Um, yeah, let's do, let's try the Forge Master here. Okay, and as I said, we're one mana short from being able to cast the Tangle Wire, but if we can resolve a Tangle Wire here next turn, I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay, three mana, eh? Let's see if they win one. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, Lodestone Golem. Pretty sweet. Um... I don't think that we're going to uh, use the Forge Master here to attack. I'm just going to attack in with my, uh, and we'll see what he does. Okay, so I think the Tangle Wire is really the key here. So I'm going to dangle the carrot of the uh, Lodestone. And we'll see what happens here. 
And now we're going to tangle wire in and we'll see what happens. Okay. So, I mean, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, strip mine's good with tangle wire. We're tapping down his sock fetch lands. Okay, I'm not really sure what my opponent is on here. I, I, I got to be honest with you. I really don't know how to sideboard against him. He he didn't show me too much there. I, I don't think he's playing. Uh, he's definitely not playing bugs. So, is which is what he qualified with earlier. Almost assuredly, he played a uh, a uh, bunch of scalding turns. So he's you know he's either on uh, pyromancer. Delver, it would be my guess. And that being the case, I don't really think we're going to do too much here. I mean, Duplicant is one of those cards. I'm not sure how good it is. Um, we could side it out and bring in a Worm Coil Engine. And I think that's what we're going to go with, guys. Now, this is not a great hand, admittedly, um, but I am going to keep it. Let's see what happens. I mean, hopefully we can draw into a Saul land here. Okay, Fast Bond's definitely a nice card here. So he might be able to just go off on me. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. And hopefully he just doesn't really have any business in hand. You know, sometimes these decks just, you know, you're so excited to see a Fast Bond in your hand that you, uh... So we're very, very happy to have drawn that. Question is, do I want to put a Chalice at one? I mean, I can try and jam a Lodestone Golem right here. I think that, um, hmm. in order to jam a Lodestone Golem here, I would have to set the Chalice out at zero, and I'm not sure that is correct. However, I think we want to set it at one. I, I think that is the correct play. The question is here is, do I want to take his, his Tropical Island? I mean, if he's got Gush here. It's not phenomenal for us, but... Let's try and set this thing at one. Okay, we got it in. Uh, do we want to actually... Yeah, I mean, I think we Wasteland here. I think we've got to try, because if he's got Gush, he's going to do it anyways. And it's not that big of a deal for us to do it. And getting that Tropical Island is pretty important, in my opinion. And next turn, we can try and play a... Uh... Okay, Trigon Predator. Okay. So that's fine. Um, I, I'm not thrilled to see it, but um, we can copy it. And we did not want to play. Okay. So we're going to put it on Shapeshifter, and it's going to cost us a couple life to do it, but uh, so it's certainly not perfect, but um, being able to put that on the Trigon Predator is solid. 
and hopefully it's just enough to tide him that he can't do anything. I mean, he's down to two cards in his hand, and uh... <clears throat> okay, awesome. So we're racing our own um, mana crypt here. That's a nice draw. I think, do we want to get greedy and get a lodestone in here? I mean, I can Tangle Wire and Sphere Resistance here, which are very solid, and that way he can't force of will. I think that's going to be the play. I mean, I, I, yes, I would get the extra turn. And hopefully this resolves, guys. And it looks like it does. So hopefully we're not seeing any Snapcaster business. I probably should have attacked there, but he could have blocked. I guess, no, he could have Snapcastered in and, and had more permanence, so that would have been very uncool. So I think we get all this stuff here. And hopefully he doesn't have any land. Okay, Mana Crypt's fine. I mean, it, it gives him some semblance of a clock as well. And, um, you know, like I'm going to be able to attack into that thing here now. Potentially, anyways. Win? Oh, dear. Okay. Well, that's not what we're really looking for here. Um... No, I can't attack, sadly. He's going to have to tap three permanents, so... I mean, I could attack, kill his Mana Crypt. Actually, kill his Mox Emerald is very solid. Um, the only problem with that is, is he can attack back in, right? Because he only has to tap three permanents. Yeah, unfortunately we can't do that, and we just have to hope he doesn't have a force of will in his hand. Okay. So, I think that's fine. We'll just uh, pay one here, get that into play. And let's see if we can get a lodestone in. Lodestone would be solid here. And it does get in, and I don't think we're going to play the Wasteland here. I don't see a reason to do so. And hopefully he will... Uh... You know, we just have to hope he doesn't draw an answer. That's all. So he won the flip. So I think what we're looking here for is um, a Forge Master would be very good. Uh, we do like Lodestone Golems. Because what's happening here is we're, we're under a bit of pressure from our Mana Crypt. And nice to win that one. Oh, Triskillian, what a draw. Okay, well, um, let's see if I can actually resolve the Triskillian here. Because if I resolve the Triskillian, um, and he hasn't forced anything else here yet, yeah, so um, we're going to kill that.
Okay, so now we have a pretty clear path. Uh, the question is, is what do we kill here? Uh, I've got him under two spheres. I mean, the Mana Crypt is increasing my clock, and he doesn't have any other green mana sources. So I actually think I'm just going to kill his Mox Emerald here. And I, I don't know if that is correct or not, but... Yes, I do wish to use it. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, once again, I don't see a lot of benefit in playing the Wasteland here. Um, okay, so he's bringing something in here. Um, oh, it's just a recall. And I'm uh, really happy to see that get countered and uh, we get maximum value. Okay, guys. On to the semis.